Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Today I want to speak about the emergency lighting. Um, so I will use uh, a layout which maybe you already know. So the lighting um, design for um, for a cinema. Uh, if you did not have seen this video, please check the link below um, in the description uh, of the of the current video. And you can find the general lighting, how we can establish the general lighting for a, for a cinema. Uh, so today I will use this layout and propose the uh, anti-panic emergency lighting uh, for this space. Um, if you did not subscribe to my channels, please do so. Um, you'll find a lot of interesting videos related to the lighting design uh, for different spaces and please Give a like it will help with the algorithm um, promoting my videos on my youtube channel thank you uh, for being part of this uh, community uh, so move on first step when you want to establish the emergency lighting you will go to the calculation objects and then you should see the icon uh, with the emergency surfaces you just click on it and then you have two options as mentioned, we will do for the first the anti-panic and then we we'll move for the escape route. So with anti-panic, you just drag and drop. Um, you have already preset up um, the uh, the area based on based on the wall zone. So it's automatically eliminating 0.5 meters from uh, the wall zones, and there that's your area related to the calculation of the anti-panic. Next step, uh, and also very important, it's to know the lux level is 0.5 lux, which you need to accomplish when you establish um, the anti-panic um, lighting design. So now I move to the lighting system. In my case, for the anti-panic, I will use the, um, the luminaires used as well for the general lighting. What does it mean? Uh, I will just so, for example click on the these luminaires and for all these luminaires that you see in the space i will choose particular ones of course close to the escape area this mean uh close to the to the doors where uh, will be the escape signs uh, just to to yeah to make it easy in case of a fire or emergency exit that the people which are inside of the uh, of the of the space can leave the space without um, any problems no harms no victims so that's also the meaning why we need to establish an emergency lighting especially in public uh, spaces where people are not familiar with uh, with that uh, with that space <clears throat> so yeah let's move back to the lighting so i will just click now i will say we are in the phase of establish which luminance will act like emergency lighting so i choose this one from this row and then you have this button use as emergency man just click on it and you should see already the icon uh, of emergency on near let's say the that luminaire in addition you need to press set up the <coughs> uh, light level and then this means how the percentage of the uh, emergency unit usually is 10 percent so in this case will be like 300 it's automatically calculated be it uh, if you use the emergency lighting from the general from uh, the luminous from the general lighting then you'll see also the icon here so you have three options use for just general lighting then you have emergency as well normal or general lighting and only for emergency lighting this option you will use it when you have just dedicated luminaires so in addition to the general luminaires you will add just dedicated uh, luminaires for this case uh, next step i will choose for example the following luminaire i will just click on it here and yes emergency i'll put again 10, sorry, 10 percent so you see now i have two luminaires established as being working for emergency 
then I go to the next one, use the same 10% oh. and I will say in the last one use as emergency lighting. So I will try to, to run the first calculation based on this for luminous and just to see where we are. <clears throat> if we need to select more luminous or for the anti-panic emergency it will be enough to use only this <clears throat> for luminous. And then when you click here you can just calculate active light see because actually the light see, is the emergency lighting so you don't need to, to run uh, the complete um, lighting calculation for example. So then you just click on it and let's see the, the outcome. So in this case for an anti-panic we are yeah we need more luminous you see where we are oh, actually meaning we have the maxim but the targets open 50 so we did not <clears throat> we did not uh, achieve the, the necessary so let's see at least how it's looking from the rend rendering expect if you put in 3d <clears throat> you see the area yeah so we need <clears throat> more luminous for the from the general light to to act as an, a, an emergency and if you go on the false colors yeah it's already on actually so you can see it as well it seems that yeah we need more light okay so then if we know that we need more luminous we will go for example uh, we do we can choose for example I will go maybe I will choose this one and switch with the other one so you need yeah you need more to work more I will say on the on this emergency setup oh, okay so I want to choose as well this luminar Yes, we will discard everything. And you see, it's making also groups. Now we have two. So we don't need to set up our go as well for this one. And yeah, by the way, you can as well establish groups of, um, of luminous. For example, now we see that it's adding, we have three luminous here and the other two. And the three are for different. You can just have just one one group. That I will say is easier. Um, I will use as well this one. And here I guess is going yeah. Here. Yeah, to make it easier, I will say it's better to group everything on on a single. And maybe I will do the same here, selecting this luminar. And the other two, I will say this and this will remove and move a little bit on the on the side, I will say with the other ones. So here if you want to remove one. Just click on that and it's removed. And I will go wait the next one. And then it's just added here. So I have four luminance. And then we click also on this one. 
emergency no yeah uh, the other one we just will be removed and this one which you see it's on all zero you can just take them out this was the ones that I changed already okay so now we have well let's say we double the number of luminaires for um, anti-panic let's run again the lighting calculation and see uh, the results that we we get in this case A little bit, I have a problem here. I do not understand why I see only the lux level here, but for the other one, it's, it's not showing because in, in this case, I will say we have 10.5. But for oh yeah, for any uh, some reasons, it's not calculating, I guess, because we have. <coughs> Because we have a different uh, floor yeah you see it's, it's just calculated here but actually it's it's not correct so I will say with this this setup it should be enough um, enough light on the, on the if I change also to false colors uh, You can see that we have <coughs> seven, five, ten. Is a is more than enough, but because the the floor is not flat, we need to have a variable um, surface, because here it's calculating on the floor on zero. But he, uh, as you can see, I will just stop now. <coughs> we have a different. We don't have a flat floor. That's that's the problem in this case. So you need to establish. <clears throat> the light, light level on all um, on on different different heights let's say and <clears throat> based on on that looks what I, I choose um, being on the on the if we go back on the calculation objects and <clears throat> we check the 2d you can the surface will be on on zero and that's that's the problem in this case we can calculate again but i would say <clears throat> having this seeing the lux level that we have on on the fourth row <clears throat> which is 10.5 <clears throat> we go with the same same approach uh, as you can see it here this is much better i would say <clears throat> so this is enough you don't need because whatever you go it's the 0.5 and if i place it here for example you can see we have 50 lux <clears throat> on the other side opposite is four lux so this is more than enough what we have here actually we exceed it's 15 12 <clears throat> six yeah <clears throat> so this is an, it's a problem i would say in uh, with the dialogues if we don't have a <clears throat> flat floor that this error for example which we encounter <clears throat> is not correct so this calculation is not correct done because we don't have a, a flat floor and uh, you can use like orientation at uh, this value 10.5 which is way above and i guess also with the uh, less luminaires like we had a few with four luminaires which we want to use from the general lighting we can achieve the anti-panic <clears throat> so this is more than enough so i hope that <clears throat> by now um, you realize how to do um, the emergency lighting for the anti-panic now we'll say let's move on the on the escape route so for the escape route um, yeah on the calculation you'll have um, this part and you have an area here I will just use <coughs> actually this one uh, Just to see it like this <clears throat> so see this is the escape room and here above the door we have the exit line which actually is um, 
the, uh, this pictogram I will show you here in couple of moments so it's this pictogram and <clears throat> which is with an arrow down which is pointing where is the escape route moving to the uh, choosing the luminaires I have here selected the luminaire from this manufacturer unfortunately it doesn't have a pictogram <clears throat> and therefore that's why I show you the, the picture uh, the earlier picture so now <clears throat> drag and drop uh, the luminaire we need to place on 2.7 meters above the door and then <clears throat> you see that it has already the sign with the uh, with the emergency being already <clears throat> an emergency lighting it's automatically recognized that's good from dialogues and uh, it pops up here as I mentioned, unfortunately doesn't have the pictogram, the pictogram should be this one and we'll place it here and one will be above of this door so <clears throat> that will be, let's say, the emergency lighting um, for uh, for this space, for a cinema so we have the anti-panic first which is 0.5 uh, the lux level and then we have the escape route which should be one lux and usually you the escape route is coming where you have the exit so the doors um, so now we just run the continuous calculation i will not start all over again and let's see on the escape route what is uh, the outcome so here as you can see this time is working perfectly because we have a um, flat area I would say and then let's see where we are it seems that we need more light so I think I press it too close so we need one lux so here I think we need to to change just a sec the the distribution is not okay as I see it here yeah, so it's a problem with the distribution. How I choose the, the luminaire. We need to, um, yeah, change the orientation. Yeah, I try to do it like this. Uh, I move it a little bit in front. Just a sec. So let's see. It can be that <clears throat> as I don't see the, the I don't have the pictogram and it can be that this is for left right for example because you have different different types of emergency so you see here if I, I change <clears throat> how it, and the distribution we already on green so we have 5.5 lux and you can see it also how they calculate on the route itself <clears throat> it's up to yeah 7.5 so we, we are okay so that's that's a little bit the downside if we don't have the um, the pictogram I, with the orientation it's a little bit difficult but I guess that's that should be so in this way you you set up the the lighting for emergency so hope that you like this video <clears throat> hope that you understand how to to do the emergency lighting for um, for a space can for the public space uh, that's that's the most frequent that you need to do uh, the emergency so here we combine again the anti-panic and the escape group um, emergency lighting and yeah if you have question let your comments um, below in this video as mentioned in the beginning give a like it will help me with the algorithm algorithm on, on on youtube my youtube channel and promote my my youtube channel thanks again and have a good day bye bye